My name is Dr. Helen Caldicott. I am an Australian. I am a paediatrician, a children's specialist, and I have for 40 years been involved in the medical implications of both nuclear power and nuclear war, as well as being on the faculty at Harvard Medical School and practicing medicine as well. Why are there uh, so many countries still in the world, like UK, that still continue pursuing the nuclear option in the energy mix? Well, a lot of people are quite ignorant about the nuclear fuel cycle and the radiation effects within the body and all the side effects from nuclear power from uranium mining to milling to enrichment to building the reactor to the reactor producing large amounts of routine radioactive emissions that radiation concentrates in the food chain and in the human breast milk and the bones and the lungs and also radioactive waste which lasts for about half a million years and will over time absolutely contaminate food chains. So people will be eating radioactive food and babies are 10 to 20 times more sensitive to radiation than adults, fetuses thousands of times. And people don't understand that. This is a medical problem and most people do not have the biological information to understand this. Hence, the nuclear power industry has been pushing a huge propaganda campaign saying that they are the answer to global warming because they produce no carbon dioxide. They actually do produce a large amount of carbon dioxide as well as they will produce epidemics of cancer, leukemia and genetic disease in all future generations. So how much should nuclear power cost considering all the costs that society pays? Well, a nuclear reactor itself, by itself, costs about 12 to 15 billion dollars now to build. But that, but all the other parts of it, the enriching of uranium, the huge amounts of insurance that is all paid for by the government, the government subsidizes the whole nuclear power industry, but it, the costs are not in, the costs of the medical problems down the time track are not included. The costs of looking after patients, particularly children with cancer and genetic disease, are never included. The cost of storing radioactive waste for half a, cent, for half a million years are never included. The transportation of radioactive waste are never included. So that it's so much cheaper to conduct or build renewable energy sources like wind and solar and geothermal and cogeneration and high-grade efficiency in the use of electricity. So is there a safe nuclear power option at all? What about no, fourth generation? Absolutely, absolutely not. There are absolutely no safe nuclear power option. If you read my book, Nuclear Power is Not the Answer to Global Warming, you will understand why when you have read the book. There is no safe nuclear power. And Italy has not to build nuclear power plants, but I'm sure Berlusconi doesn't understand what I'm talking about. So, who wants nuclear power? Pardon? Who, who's, who wants nuclear yeah, power? Who wants um, the politicians have been dealt a big propaganda campaign and maybe some money, I don't know. Uh, the politicians are scientifically and medically illiterate. In other words, they understand no science. Like Berlusconi, what science does he understand? Does he understand medicine? How long it takes to get cancer after you've been irradiated? Like five to 60 years. Does he know the results from Hiroshima and Nagasaki? Um, so most politicians are really corporate shills, if you will, of the nuclear power industry, like they are of the oil industry and the coal industry. They go where the money is, not where the people's future and well-being and health is. What about military lobbies behind the nuclear option? Well, of course, nuclear power was founded in the Manhattan Project to produce plutonium to make bombs. Um, and then nuclear power to produce electricity was an offshoot of that because the people who made the bombs 
felt so guilty about Hiroshima and Nagasaki where they killed over 200,000 people in the flash of light that they thought if they could harness the atoms for peaceful purposes, they would feel less guilt. I knew many of those men. I worked closely with them. They hated nuclear weapons. And I can tell you that their guilt was not assuaged by the time they died. And they knew, they knew how dangerous it was and is. They're all in their graves now. You should also know that every nuclear power plant makes uh, 250 kilos of plutonium a year. Plutonium lasts for half a million years and you only need five kilos to make yourself a nuclear weapon. So any country that has um, a reactor can make uh, over 100 nuclear weapons every year if they want. That's why people are worried about Iraq. That's how Israel made its bombs. That's how Britain made its bombs. That's how Pakistan and India made its bombs. That's how China made its bombs. Nuclear power and nuclear weapons are part of the same industry. Once you've got nuclear power plants, you can have nuclear bombs. Is there at least one does, example? Does Bill's money want nuclear bombs? Oh, no. Is there at least one example in the world of uh, correct management of nuclear waste? No. No country has solved the problem of nuclear waste, nor will any country ever solve the problem because whatever you put it in, copper, steel, concrete, within 50 or 100 years that will rust and break apart and nuclear waste will leak out into the environment, the water, concentrate in food, milk, meat, vegetables, and people will be eating radioactive food. Their babies will be born deformed, as babies are being born deformed now in Fallujah and Basra in Iraq, where they used radioactive weapons, and they still do. In fact, in Fallujah, the doctors are telling mothers not to have any babies because almost all of them are born grossly deformed, either with no brains or single eyes or no arms. It's really, I mean, that's what the future holds. What should common people, normal people, citizens, do to adopt, well, to, to discard the option of the nuclear power? Um, any options well, to I lobby? Yeah, well, first they must be well informed. It's imperative that they understand the information. Um, so I, I have to suggest, I know my book has been translated into Italian, that everyone who listens to this should read Nuclear Power is Not the Answer to Global Warming. And once they've read that, they need to spend some days with their feelings working out what they're going to do. Truly, we need a revolution against this really ghastly, wicked nuclear industry. It's much worse than tobacco, much worse than smoking, much worse than asbestos. And people can use their democracy by going to see their politicians and educating them, take doctors with them, dressed in their white coats with their stethoscopes. Go and see Berlusconi, take over Berlusconi's office. I mean, Italians are good, I think. They're passionate people. They really care a lot about life. They can work out what they're going to do to make sure their country closes down all the nuclear power plants. Don't